Sir Jim Ratcliffe has requested that Manchester United's leadership team use forensic decision-making over Eric Ten Hag as they continue to mull over his future at Old Trafford. Ratcliffe headed up a seven-hour crisis meeting over United's disastrous start to the season this week, joined by right-hand man Sir Dave Brailsford, directors Dan Ashworth and Jason Wilcox and CEO Omar Berada, with Ten Hag's role the main topic of discussion. But with no statement emerging from the club following the lengthy summit on Wednesday, it appears the Dutchman has survived the initial review, with the club also opting to keep him in charge this summer following a dismal 2023-24 campaign that saw the team finish eighth. Ten Hag now looks set to return to United after the international break for a home game against Brentford on October 19, though it is unlikely he is in the clear following the club's poor recent results that have why. According to The Independent, Ratcliffe wants United's senior figures to continue adopting his INEOS firm's, evidence-based, approach to working, ensuring that all decisions are unanimous and based on facts and figures. The report says Ratcliffe made his request for the, forensic, approach in the crunch meeting in London this week over Ten Hag's future, where one figure is understood to have argued for a change to be made immediately. However, another individual in the meeting warned of disruption that a change this early in the season could cause, as well as concerns over the lack of available replacements. Ratcliffe's determination to stick to an evidence approach has led to discussions within the hierarchy about how the team are better suited to playing with four at the back rather than three, the report goes on. Thomas Tuchel has been talked about as one of the most high-profile possible successors to Ten Hag, having already met with Ratcliffe to discuss taking over from the Dutchman in the summer, before the United board opted to stick to their guns. Former England boss Gareth Southgate has also been strongly linked to the role, with Ratcliffe said to be a huge admirer, though he effectively ruled himself out of the running after insisting he would not coach another team for at least a year. I won't coach in the next year, for sure. I'm certain of that, he said after appearing at the European Club Association conference. I need to give myself time to make good decisions. When you come out of a really big role you need to give your body time, you need to give your mind time. I'm fortunate that there are lots of opportunities presenting themselves. There's no rush.